Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you a lot more places you can find free rare earth magnets and some other powerful magnets as well. I say a lot more places because a couple years back I did a video showing over 20 different kinds of locations and products and things that had some really awesome neodymium magnets inside that you can basically salvage for free. Today, I'm doing that again, but this time highlighting some unique shapes and sizes of magnets that you can find on things that other people might often just be ready to throw away. So one of the questions you may be asking yourself right about now is, why would you even want to do this? And the answer for me is actually quite simple, because there's a lot of fun things you can do with neodymium magnets. In fact, I highlighted a lot of those things in the previous video, but I also put links in the description below to some of those other projects that I've made videos about that required the use of some of these neodymium magnets that I've salvaged. Yeah, so it's not every day you have an empty Beats headphones packaging box just laying around that you can salvage magnets from. But there is something that most people have laying around that isn't much of use anymore. Old, busted up, broken earbuds, AirPods, headsets, earphones. Yeah, they're kind of sitting in a junk drawer somewhere, aren't they? Well, if you're not going to use them for a microphone or a mini speaker, start cracking them open and check out some of the really cool tiny magnets that are on the inside and then start considering some of the fun uses that you might be able to do with them. Just to prove that neodymium magnets are used in packaging for stuff that's not expensive, I've got a bunch of these little kinds of boxes that came from various novelty items that may have actually cost less than the packaging that they came in. And there's awesome magnets and things that aren't necessarily throwaway items, but may outlive their usefulness. What about those latches that are used to keep children out? Or maybe adults. If you no longer need to keep the kids out of something, you're still going to have the magnet key that opens it. Another often overlooked item that ends up in the trash are these electronic toothbrush heads. What makes them work? Great question. Doesn't necessarily matter, but it does involve these awesome strong magnets on the base. There's a couple of them layered together and they pry off pretty easily. I am constantly surprised at how many different types of packaging have little flaps on the front that are kept shut by nothing more than a magnet on the inside. That's definitely worth salvaging. Here's another one. Sometimes free doesn't have to come from the trash or general salvage, but maybe something you can legitimately get for free. like those different things from Harbor Freight that all you have to do is buy something and get them free, like an emergency light. It's got a magnet on the back. These are free with a coupon and they are in just about every circular that Harbor Freight sends out. Another freebie that they have is even more awesome in terms of the magnet. Free with purchase of a 99 cent item? Yes please, I'll take one. <laughs> and yeah, it's a beast of a magnet. If you saw my previous Magnet Salvage video and now you're watching this one, you may be noticing a trend that is different when it comes to packaging that has magnets in it. A lot of these today have little neodymium magnets inside a metal cap with a metal plate on the other side to keep things securely closed. You, like me, might be curious about what the magnets look like on the inside of this thing. And not to worry, because I actually am about to destroy this so that I can show you what's on the inside. And now for something completely different. This next item may not be something you see ever, 
but you might see other novelty items like it. The basic ideas? There are two parts that need to be held together, but done so in kind of secret. Magnets are perfect for that. Fidget items have been around long before the fidget spinner came to be, including things like these fidget rattlesnake magnets. They just happen to be the kind of thing that you might find in a junk drawer or junk cabinet. And another thing that might be found as part of a junk cabinet are the latches that keep them shut. Yeah, these magnetic closures are strong and awesome. It just happens to be that the plastic piece that holds them connected to the cabinet door or the wall degrades over time and makes them fall apart. So you have to replace them, which is why I ended up with a nice big stack of them and looking for a project to use them on. So this motorcycle tank bag needs to be held rather securely to a moving vehicle. For this bag, that requires four rather beastly sized magnets. They also happen to exist in other things like antennas and other magnet mounted devices on cars, trucks, and other vehicles. Not neodymium, but also very powerful. The magnets on a speaker. You know, there's a really good reason when something is called novelty that that's the word that's used for it. Because when the novelty wears off, the things often get thrown away. And that's where you come in. Ask to take it, rip it apart, and pull out some of these cylinder type neodymium magnets or other shaped magnets, depending on the device. Might as well repurpose them, right? All right, last box I rip open in this video. I promise, but this time I want to do it for a different purpose because they have different shaped magnets in this box and a bunch of them. All right, so I figure we've ripped apart some earbuds today and some speakers. So why not split the size difference now and look at some over the ear headphones because they have some pretty cool magnets inside of them too. All right, for the last few items on my list today, I have a couple things that are just honorable mention. Like I said, the packaging everywhere seems to have magnets inside these days, and health and beauty products don't seem to be an exception either. And toys? Yeah, magnets, why not? Office supplies, like a paperclip holder. Some unique shaped magnets. Look around you, magnets seem to be in everything, and a lot of stuff that tends to get thrown away. Hey, thank you so much for sticking with me today at Dialed In DIY as I walk through my Magnet Salvage video, part two, more free neodymium magnets. I'd love it if you could please do me the favor of hitting that thumbs up down there to let me know you liked the video or stuck with it. Subscribe to my channel while you're here and make sure to come on back in the future because there will be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.